Verifying the system evacuation is the final and most important step of the process. The standard procedure for testing a system evacuation is a decay test. After the degassing and dehydration of the system has been completed and the target vacuum level has been reached, the system and micron gauge need to be isolated. Following the setup and full flow tips from the previous video in this series makes this simple. By closing the VCRTs on the system, we can test the system's ability to hold an isolated vacuum. Once the system is isolated, it must hold a vacuum for a specified amount of time. During this window, the vacuum level is allowed to rise up to a specified level. The length of time and micron level, typically specified by the system manufacturer, are jointly referred to as the acceptable rise. In the absence of a manufacturer's recommendation, refer to ASHRAE standards. If the system stays within the acceptable rise for the full duration of the decay test, this proves that the system is clean, dry, and tight, signifying the evacuation in turn was successful. It's important to note that you will typically see a rise in vacuum level. As long as it stays within the recommended range, it is an acceptable level of rise. However, if the micron level climbs higher than the acceptable rise during the duration of the test, the evacuation is not finished. The micron gauge can still provide answers about the current state of the system. As more time passes with the system still isolated, the micron gauge can indicate several issues. An incomplete degassing or dehydration, contaminants inside the system, or a system leak. If the system maintains a slow rise and eventually levels off at a relatively low micron level, this means that the system was not fully evacuated and is still equalizing. This will require continued evacuation. Now, if the rise trend is similar but equalizes considerably higher, this indicates that there may be contaminants or moisture in the system, which may require a nitrogen sweep and a second evacuation. If the rise trend is steady and doesn't appear to be slowing down, this is an indicator of a system leak. With a system leak, the micron level will rise consistently until eventually reaching atmospheric pressure. The severity of the leak is directly related to the speed at which the level is rising. Leaks can vary from pinholes in the line set to missing port caps. Identifying and resolving the leak is the only way to address this issue. Again, it's normal to see a rise during a decay test. Using a full range vacuum gauge will help you diagnose the vacuum and better understand what is happening inside the system. Once the issues have been addressed, another decay test must be performed. If the system successfully passes the decay test, the evacuation is deemed successful. We've now reached the end of our fast evacuation series. Through the series, we've explained the importance of testing your tools and maintaining quality oil in your pump, along with the most effective vacuum setups to achieve full flow. Having watched this series, you can now evacuate systems with confidence that you're pulling the fastest quality vacuum that you can. For any further questions on fast evacuation practices, don't hesitate to contact Appian directly.